Welcome to the Elevate Life Project with your host, Michael Cohan. At the Elevate Life Project, we are dedicated to inspiring people to achieve their goals and live their dreams to their highest potential. Aim higher. Elevate your life. Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of the Elevate Life Project. Today, we are going to have a great conversation about self-care and why it's important. But as always, before we get started, a quick reminder, looking to gain a little direction in work and life, take my three-minute quiz to discover your true purpose by visiting elevatelifeproject.com backslash purpose. After the quiz, I'm going to give you my top tips for making goals that align with your unique strengths. Now, let's get started and talk about what self-care is and why self-care is important. First off, defining self-care is easy because it's the opposite of self-sabotage or self-control. To successfully achieve self-care, you must have a self-care plan. It's through that structured plane that you're going to be able to properly care for your very being. Self-care just isn't about brushing your teeth or combing your hair. Self-care is for the needs within you. Self-care is caring for your soul, your inner self, and your very being. Building a solid self-care plan is important. A good self-care plan reminds you of what you want to accomplish. After all, you have values, goals, and a purpose in life. This plan reminds you about what you need to do to take care of you. Using a day planner or making notes to yourself can remind you of your goals and the things you need to do to take care of your body, mind, and soul. Your self-care plan gives you a solid foundation for what you want to do and how you can accomplish it. You should also provide yourself with inspirational quotes and affirmations. This is the spiritual food that keeps you focused on your own personal well-being. Not only do you have the reminders of what to do, but you also have little pieces of inspiration around you to remind you of what you're doing. In addition to inspirational quotes, you can hang motivational pictures throughout your home and office. These pictures may be exotic places you'd like to visit someday or tranquil images of nature. Your pictures may be something that you want to attract into your life or may remind you of a positive memory from your past. You can also have a photo of your family to remind you of what's important to you. Your self-care plan should be inspired and inspired by you and remind you of why you want to take care of your body, mind, and spirit. Another aspect of your self-care plan is tracking your progress. Let's say you have a hard time getting motivated to exercise. By keeping a log of your exercise from time to time, you can keep yourself focused on achieving a healthier you. A food journal is a good way to track your food choices so you can remind yourself that you need to eat nutritious food. In addition, you can use a journal to record your mental and emotional health. Write down what's going on inside you so you can evaluate evaluate your feelings and proactively take care of your mental health. Your self-care plan tracks your progress to help you stay on track towards your goals. You can use these aspects of planning toward anything in your life so you have that solid foundation you need to take care of yourself. Just make sure to take care of the inside as well as the outside. So, how do you create a personalized self-care plan? You may need to motivate yourself to initiate a self-care plan. For some, beginning any new task may be daunting. In addition, You'll want to make sure that you can find motivation along the way to keep you on track. Ask yourself what has motivated you in the past. Use this as your motivation towards the things you need to take care of yourself. A good motivator to keep you on track is to have a family member, friend, or spouse 
hold you accountable. If you slip up in your efforts to proactively take care of yourself, they will let you know so you can renew your focus and get back on course. It's important to have some sort of structure in place for successful self-care. You need to take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else. A good self-care plan will provide you with the bigger attitude and energy to enjoy life to its fullest. Chronic stress and anxiety can wear you out. However, self-care can be a powerful remedy that restores your mind and your body. So try these self-care tips to find relief for your stress. First, make yourself and your health a priority. You may have stress coming from multiple directions such as work, school, families, kids, neighbors, or any other reason. However, it's important to establish your health as the top consideration. Find a balance between taking care of others and taking care of yourself. The fundamentals of self-care is a conscious effort to put yourself first. It requires you to take the time for activities that nourish and sustain your body, your mind, and your spirit. When you make it a priority to take care of yourself, you build a lifestyle that focuses on healthy choices. Build self-care into your daily habits, such as eating a healthy breakfast or exercise. Start with one healthy habit a day. If self-care isn't a normal part of your life, it might be difficult to get used to it. However, you can start with one small habit and you'll see positive changes. By implementing one healthy habit each day, you'll begin your journey of taking better care of yourself. The habit can be tiny changes, such as eating oatmeal for breakfast or having a salad for lunch. The key is to pick something small that is easy to do. Then, you can build this foundation and add other habits. If you try too many activities at once, you're likely to get overwhelmed or discouraged. You need to find what works for you on your own path. It's easy to get caught up in the self-care practices that others use. However, it's more effective to find your own path to wellness. Find the tips and habits that work best for your lifestyle. You may not have time to eat a healthy lunch or exercise every day. There are other ways to take care of yourself. Be willing to experiment with different ideas to figure out which self-care practices work well for you. And remember to continue growing. It's not enough to add one self-care habit and move on. Stress will continue to be a factor as long as you're on this planet. It's important to discover new self-care habits to alleviate your stress. Over time, the stress may come from different directions. For example, if your job is going well, you may suddenly discover issues at home. If your family life is fine, you may be worried about getting laid off. You may feel overwhelmed at times and as if you're taking steps backwards. Nevertheless, continue forward and make self-care a top priority. As your life changes, your self-care habits will also change. You might find that oatmeal for breakfast starts causing stomach aches or injuries prevent you from exercising as vigorously as you did when you were younger. Self-care can come from multiple channels. You can change things up and still find success. Self-care has an important role in the battle against stress and living a long and vital life. It's an important part of staying healthy and maintaining a wellness. So remember, aim higher and go elevate your life. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Life Project. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like our show, please write us a review. By writing this review, you will help raise our profile so more people can find our show. Links to our sponsors and other tools can be found in our show notes along with other useful information. For more information on our coaching classes, please visit our website at elevatelifeproject.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, aim higher elevate your life.